Bensuda just before the break. This is Bensuda, Janem Bidafonyan Nimola. The chairman preempted me um, by going into decree number one. Yeah, man, yeng nimfo nyeko purunga da ngamuru koma doma diwalem decree follow nindi. Sorry about that, council. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> That's what chairman do. Indeed. <laughs> And this was um, the first decree that was passed under your tenure as um, Attorney General, Acting Attorney General. And I believe there were five more that were passed under that capacity. Perhaps we can, before we go into the decrees, just give us a background into what was happening in, in the country then at that point. After you had met the chair, chairman, and he had indicated his desire to rule by decree and gave you instructions for the drafting of decrees. In terms of the human rights situation in the Gambia, then what, what was the situation? Um, uh, as far as I could ascertain, and um, they this really depended on a lot on rumors. Ntesikulu eh itandiro nyame wotembo eh ku jama be dendi munela men keta ngunu ngunu kumoliti moy la moy kumolu men ka fo as i said all ministers had been retained ko afu nyame ya minister be mutale nun ke sindi dula kling i believe all senior military officers above the rank of um, lieutenant were also detained uh, barring the only person I know who was above the rank of lieutenant I believe was Lamin Kababajo that I met who was who was not detained. And we tembo sojar bunda la menu le fanal la makamo be lieutenant ye santo wolo jama be kono ye mutale ke sindidula kelen fa se ke mo kelinti de Lamin Kababajo ni mai nyoje men mantara mutamol kono otumo. I um all senior police officers uh, were also detained. Police kunyatong kolo fanalu be ye be fanan sindi dula kiling. There was a there was a great deal of tension in the atmosphere. Utumo sobinyolo sembo be wara nye be wara rimbake fonyoko no. The the uh, most of the vehicles you would see on the road were military vehicles driving at top speed to and fro. Wotembo eka moto jamaje siloka be kake sojaru moto leti. And as far as um, you were concerned, the detentions of the minister, as well as um, the others you've mentioned, were they lawful or not? Because they were not. Nothing that the military could do would be lawful. Did or could do would be lawful. A manke luat. Cat watembo soldier only a cocundinke water canola lua la siloti, a member tamanda and lua manta. A military government is not lawful. Soldier Mansakunda found in lua lamanta. And at that point, I agree that it wasn't um, lawful. Do you remember or do you know any other human rights violations that occurred during that time apart from unlawful uh, detentions? Because we have received a lot of testimony about how some of the ministers were also tortured during this time. Ninga bota ni mola ni minister ni ni tangu bunda ni aronga kota ngo moleke muda ke sindi dula kile mo kaila o nyantu tinya. Fuya la na fa hara moya nyantu tinya dolu keta la banka tunga se dandro jamal der sura jangko minister dolu beje mi alonko ye dolu ye muda ye gabri ye sindi dula kile ye dolu beje ye tajire ya le ngo se dandro sura jang. Fuya dolu lona ba mene alonko ilata ni mola kamba. At the time we could not know that. Otembo de mteo lono la. What we would hear uh, rumors of people being whipped. Um, basically, um, and people being detained in mile two, not only in police stations and so on, but in prisons. 
andu ya mulu mutameni ya lonko ye samba banko kaso bunda bala kate soronje hana manke police station lu damantide bari ye samba kate soron mail tu kasola for a lawyer that is horrendous because as we all know the only institution that can put anybody in a prison is the court o dun lawyer la karola wo mukijate ku balati kadu ndel langa ngamel lo ndalta melna wala nyinti ko kiti bunda leyo sembo soto ka mo kiti ndi ni luwa ya muta ya soro but later through decree number 3 ms bensuda the council was given that um power to detain people bare eh sedo nyaato do mande decree sa banja on nyina na sembo di council do ku lalale nyaato ko lal puru isi mo mo muta ndi no ya samba kaso ka sindi do lakin and they assumed um this sort of semi judicial function as well as other legislative functions and on the degree ni narana sembo di la kolen comme loi bundaro kiti bundale sembo membe bulo no du sembelam kilo ni narana kurum kurum du kanao ke ka fute to council nyaton kolma kamo samba kasoto ke sindije decree number no decree gave the military any power decree ti jeme ye sembo di sojarol The, 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 the soldiers were already detaining people in mile 2 so jarol ya muta drone ka molu muta ka tay sorom mile 2 the number 3 did not give this, the the soldiers power to detain anyone dikri sabanja man sembe wo sembe di so jarol la pour ka molu muta ka sorom what dikri number 3 did was try to put in place a framework within which if you were detained you would be dealt with dikri sabanja e sarto men nati men wolam nyindi ko ni tel ye muta han fo ye sindi dula killing bidun et lamira roto men nyanta kelela isio kela received evidence that apart from the fact that this decree gave them the authority to detain but when they actually went to court when they were arraigned in court for offenses that the magistrates hands were tied for example they had no discretion to grant bail because of that particular decree because it did give the council that power to detain and that power was no longer in the court they could no lo longer remand prisoners na said and roll men so da nyin decree sa manyo wala nyin di ko nyin decree sa manyo ay sam body nyin council member so lal council mo lale ka dum hanni ngatra e momu e momu da ya samba kiti yola kiti ya samba kasoro magistrate mem kiti la nyin di aka mem fo wala nyin di ko hanni bel bel ko nata aka fo ko mbulol be sitrine ka mbulol be sitrine u ka tun digiri nyi e sembo tala di nyi kansul nyaton ko la wala ya sabu kiti la nyi aka fo ko mbulol be teddene nte bel di no la nyi nyi mari la mem be muto ko no um just to put things in context pour ko ko lu tembendi i was very concerned when i came at the um extensive detention not only of ministers but of so many people birinna ta ngade won ku basoto o kata muneti hana manke minister lu dam man mutoti wutumo ya tara ye mo jama fana muta men ya lon ko be mutoko no wotembo o kata de ngoti ndey as i said when i engaged the chairman in that meeting ko nga funu nyum birinni chairman sita o be ngoto about the release of the ministers he he refused except for the attorney general Bringa minister la bulo faye ka foy nyante bulalele abalantale na manke attorney general te I did not raise at that meeting the release of um, any any other persons Mammo dolu la bulo mama ndi jede wo metin bulato je And when he released the, the attorney general and I went with the escort um Alkali James Gay was also in the same in the same um, room as the attorney general bring the uh, attorney general la bula ko faye hanfo uh, in atante dandam pour kan samba ndata to moment alkali james gay fanambe o bunkil ngolo kono anin attorney general sorry to um i'm just trying to put things in context yes i was wondering if, if, if you I mean, were going to come and come yes, to I mean, my question I mean, I mean, all right I mean, thank I just you i'm giving you the context thank you um, it concerned me that alkali james gay could not be released akitanya de unkoti wari alkali james gay ni attorney general be bunko no kilingo le kono imanso wo bulala wala en deun the following week um, i was called to a council meeting alo ko mo men bulata no ma yen ko mande pour ngata ma be council be ngoto and i advised that based on um, and i advised that they could not keep de um, detaining people without charge particularly in mile 2 because the detention of all these military officers 
came to my attention, and it, it was raised at that meeting. And bring data of Bengoto. Many of the call. You more mutoni more strong in Kirakino that ten ten no la satara ime to me with Mankule Kang, Lua Nyatilula. Cadu Tembo, Najibe, a Mujama Lemuta, Menialonko, a Samba Mile to be Mutolukono, and Mukule to me along at a Tano and Yato Purkabulawanya. And that under our constitution, there is a procedure for the review of the detention of persons on the states of emergency. Adu mutu monte la sarto lukono. Nyimbije la kusainka njubero nyanta kela muta molu la kolu lale ningi muta tafoka pare ko anyanta kitama la nyami ni misali kama banko la sarto lubelori. They made it clear, especially the vice chairman. Ya sene ya ndibake sako chairman nolanko. And um, Mr. K Lieutenant Singate, who I met for the first time at that meeting. I call Lieutenant Singate, may I long call him senior, followed in Nabe Nyojala or Bendulato. That the detention of officers, military and police officers, would not be compromised. Go, yeah, Nyaton call Menu Muta or Nya, Katabula, police, Nyaton call Lao Lamuto, falling to Keno Lawoto. They agreed that they could subject the detention to reviews. Ari sondako wamuto lu kama ulu sindi isi sone jubero ke ila kuoto. By a tribunal. Andu member wa jubero ke la wale ke la kitendiri bundati. They also agreed that going forward they would they would disclose the detention of people by actually issuing detention orders. Andu yanyimfa na mfala kukulu bitaka nyaming. Ibe mola muto itandila la nyami wala mnyinti ibe kangole itandila menketa sarto ultipurka wa mola muta. In other words, as far as I was concerned, Nyado nyama, nitela karola, nitela mira roto. Detention, um, decree number three. Decree number three. Which is the state security detention of armed and police personnel decree. Meya alonkole mdikri ti meye bankola kantoni ntankada bunda nyato nkolo muta ke sindiru la kiling. Actually forced the military. Amunta wa soja rolo aye iblo aye forcele. And curb the excesses of what they were doing. And wa wale mukuti me ya longo itelbela na tambi kolo me nuke kang purkalo dulake wola. Force them to let people know. Aye forcele fanampuri moli ya lo. Itelbela juma yole muta ya juma yole muta kesiindi. It afforded the people detained an opportunity to make representation. Tungole na tambi kolo ma kwemen be muto kono puru ulfanali simu ni ni men be lo leye. And it put in place a procedure whereby their detention can be reviewed. And when at a cool on the mayor along Colum in Tico Elamuto, it is saying can Jubero, Keno, Elamuto, the Lilola. But let me emphasize that the decree, oh, decree, did not authorize them to arrest anyone. Among Sembeo, Sembe Dila, Puruka Momuta. These people were already detained. You molly all Muta Lefoka Pare. A decree does not add. So to speak, does not give, does not empower, does not, does not give the military any power that they already did not have. Dikiri buka sembedi soja rola sembo me ya longo wote bulu foka pare. Mrs. Bensuda, let me just interject at this point. Mrs. Bensuda, mbarunga bantambili nyaro yinitimben. I understand that your position is that when you came as acting attorney general, you came to basically stabilize the situation. I understand that you're also saying that the decrees uh, were just a reflection of the status quo. And that, in fact, it did not give them any powers that they did not already have because they were detaining people. However, I wish to put it to you that the decrees legitimized everything that the military government was doing at that time by giving it the force of law. Um, first of all, let me just um, <clears throat> clarify something. Um, the military did not appoint me as Attorney General. 
Sojaro Lumante Tembonka, Attorney General Makamu Odinna. There is a law officers act. Uh, there, is a law. there is a law. Mrs. Bensura, I'm sorry to interject again, but yes. kindly just yes. perhaps answer my questions first and then um, explain. Mrs. Bensura, you really seem to be deviating a little bit from my I'm questions. I would like you to address them directly and then perhaps huh? give us an explanation or some context. I'm sorry. I, it's not my intention to deviate. This is about what, 25 years ago? And, and the answers require contest, but I'll do my best to answer your question first. Thank you very much. And also just within the context of, you know, uh, the limited time that we have available as well. We have quite a few topics to cover. Thank you, but um, sometimes the context of your question requires clarification. Inumbara, but from the lowly line in Karo, a cotto come in in Kafo, Dinkira Dulu Sata Senea. What I was going to say was that by the Law Officers Act, we left a man for a long water, William Yindico, Lua, Telkata Manu Mena. In the absence of the Attorney General, Solicitor General takes over the Office of Attorney General. Attorney General, comma, Solicitor General, the Cow Office of Taman. So, notwithstanding whatever announcement they made about permanent secretaries. In the absence of Attorney General, effectively, I was Attorney General. It is the FMF Kankula between Abelari Nyonyan Dinyama, where Attorney General TJ Solicitor General Ninkum Walekalo Palaso to Kaukul Tamandi. And not by virtue of any authority conferred on me by the military. Mandua Banke Dalila Wodali Lerika for Sojaro Luleo Sembo Dintela. I'm going back to your question. Ilanininka Rokang. Military governments do not need legitimization. So German Sakunda Lulu can in Kanin Kavum Kumem Bentela Koto Tilindila Kake Tonya Koti, Walla Kake Ku Saharimuti, men in Sartolusita. Their authority flows it a less symbol in Kamu Wakatamale, you know, from the their their guns. And wo akabumunebala ilakido lumenu bebulu. They have taken over the country. Ye banko tale. They are de facto in charge of the country. Munta otembo it lebe mararim bankola. Against our will. The only way anything can be legitimized if it is legitimized in accordance with the Constitution. And this is what I they may put in place a system. They may put in place a framework. But they cannot legitimize. This is Bensura, the decrees give force of law. And that is exactly what it did because even as the constitution stands, the decrees are recognized as one of the laws in this country. And I will like a hand on honey, I give you a new decree, Wollem Kudemi Alongo, Sutin Road, Dita Wolle Labaka Franca, Kelua in Bangoga. And at that point, in fact, they even took supremacy over the very constitution. And what not an assort of a new decree in Narana Tambika Maralo, Maralo, La Maralo, Narana Tambika Tambina Luabuba Fola. If you look at decree number one, which you drafted, and Nia, you be decree following in Melongo, it will save. Although it did not suspend the entire constitution there was a provision that said whenever any provision of the constitution was in conflict with the particular decree the decree would take precedence it would be supreme so therefore in my view decree number one as well as the other decrees that were 
passed during your tenure really set the scene for dictatorship in this country. Decree, I understand. Decree following an indecree dole me along all the blood of decree following in no gang will be able to decree the Mialongo, Lenarana, you to throw a cooler Mialongo, Sembla Maraloni in Banco Kanya. I understand that you do not recognize or did not recognize the legitimacy of that dictat dictatorship or the government at the time. And However, I am not aware of the legitimacy of the government or the government at the time. That was the status quo. And unfortunately, in your position, and as also parliamentary, you know, ex-parliamentary council with expertise and legislative drafting and all of that, you were very instrumental. And we get a more than one coil London so to suffer or to lose a carol and then we get a parliamentary council to you more than one coil London so to back a coin in dollar. In giving them that framework, kau coin in alhalo in ta kadila. Within which to maneuver and navigate. And don't get to is he 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 is And, um, thank you. Um, I think with respect, Council, um, we are confusing certain concepts, I think. You know, Mbara Council, but I'm here to be kodolu jika nyaming, abe kekang nyaming yololet. It wasn't the, the coup d'etat of 22nd July. 1994 was probably one of the last coup d'etats in the sub-region. July Karo Tilmuan Nimflo coup d'etat nga mera asekeno wole m coup d'etat laba ngote menkata nyin tundo la. From the 60s up to 1994 there were various coups across the region. Kabo 1960 sangolula fo kana 1994 coup d'etat jamal lekata tundo nyinna. Military governments ruled by decree. So jaraman sakunda lukata mani decree la. All the Ministry of Justice could do was to draft the decree for them. Minister Bunda and Marta Kito in Tilimala will come and care no wrong will them call decree will suffer in any agony. They do not need decrees to justify their existence. It's a look at the Sulan in decree of La Purka, Ila law, and Ila Sembo Purka, and Lo Nika, Tilindika, Sembentuya. They don't need decrees. In other words, they don't need a decree to, to rule. Near you, Benya Donyama, a Mansula decree La Purka Mararoke. They had removed. The legitimate government, there was no decree for them to come in and remove the legitimate government. Italy Mansa Kundale Bondi may along call them Mulla Mansa Kunda Lorimuti. Imansula no decree la Janibe or Mansa Kunda Bondila. There was no decree when they arrested and put the ministers in jail. Decree to carry in Briba Minister Mutala case or on Casola. They did not need a decree to subvert the constitution. Imandic Sula decree and Umpurka Bangola constitution or Yelamandi. But the country which they were ruling. Required decrees in order to understand what the military government was about. So did the decree set a scene, as you put it? No, the scene was already set. Was I very instrumental? If you mean, um, did we, um, by instrumental, did um, we... Um, you assisted the government. You Masa assisted the military yes, so rule. Because yeah. you said they had a, a blueprint. Yes. So you assisted them to accomplish that blueprint simply <inaudible> by drafting those laws. <inaudible> No, they did not need my assistance to and follow their blueprint. If you mean, did I put that blueprint into a coherent framework in some, some of its respects? Um, yes. Ah. I was the Solicitor General in charge of the Ministry of Justice. Were we to close our doors and ask everybody to go home? No. The country needed a government. Now that the legitimate government was gone.
Bayri Otumo, Mansa Kunda, Tilindi Mutata. You said the country needed a legitimate, it needed a government. Yes. You have said the government was not legitimate. You have reiterated that because you said there can never be a legitimate coup. No, coup. I said the coup was not legitimate. The military regime were not legitimate. The military government was not legitimate. Yes. But there was, there, was a, there was an establishment. Let's make a distinction between those who were in charge and the establishment that they found. I was part of that establishment. And I am talking. And I'm talking about the military government as it stood. Did you recognize its legitimacy or not? And to be specific, yeah, yeah, AJ Jame with his junta members. As sitting as the council, did you recognize their legitimacy at that point? No. Nothing I did could legitimize. If you did not recognize their legitimacy, why were you answering to them? Why were you working for them? Why were you obeying their instructions? Why did you go ahead and draft all of those decrees? But I still need me to manage Kunda. I want me to Maraloni. I want to do it. 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 I was the, as I said, I was the um, acting attorney general by virtue of the Law Officers Act. Did they, they did not need my recognition. They did not need my recognition. They did not need my not need my recognition. They did 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 not need um, in a framework, as I said. It cannot be called law. Because but that's why they are called decrees. They, they were going to rule by decree. But the public needed to know the rules of the game. So my, so my role, if I may just put it succinctly, my role was to prepare the instrument as requested and that was the decree and that was the decree you don't need my legitimization or my recognition they did not with all due respect mrs bensula you are still not answering my questions directly mrs bensula not answering my questions directly mrs bensula hanka bi bu nya ko non hanka bi nanyini karo ni manita e madra jabi kan ko afurate ma nyame and I will ask some further questions, and yes, I hope please. that you will assist us um, with answers, direct answers. And Very well, uh, Council. At that point, um, what was the decree that was signed? You had the skills, like you said, you had the know-how, you had expertise in drafting decrees. What was the decree that was signed? What was the decree that was signed? What was the decree that was signed? These soldiers with a difference had their blueprint, they had a concept in mind. Which they communicated to you as the act, acting attorney general. And we have a call of general. They had no idea how to carry out this blueprint. They had no idea how to draft. Uh, decrees. In fact, if you look at your statement, you'll see that you had to do some sort of comparative analysis between the different military regimes at the time. And using that, you 
had to come up with a draft which you felt reflected our unique circumstances here in the Gambia. And when you in Cabriol be kumota ki ya jube jani bina ibeta itala safile tulo hamen kumendi wala mindi ko ina ina na yolo jube jani be uta safile jani ba asafile. And this draft was presented to the council. And when you safiro ni ni Cabriol safile ya di ni council mola le. And I dare say that the contents of the decrees were very much influenced by you. Because you selected those particular provisions which you felt were appropriate. And these were later passed. Yes, Mrs. Bensuda. <laughs> I, I lost the question. That's a very long statement. And I, it, it's I, very I similar say, to one it of it your answers, it Mrs. Bensuda. <laughs> you, because your answers are also very wide, um, very long-winded. What, what is the question, really? You provided assistance to the junta at that time. Without, without your skill and it ability, it they never would have been able to come up with those decrees by which they ruled this country. And personally, I, I don't agree. I, I happen to be the person there. But I couldn't say that without my, without my skills, um, they would not have been able to rule this country. By decree, Mrs. Bensuda, I'm talking about the decree specifically. Mm -hmm. um, the decree, I don't agree, just to answer your question first. The military, as I said, don't need a decree. They were already in charge. Mrs. Bensuda, I believe you have... say, it's a situation that needed a decree, not the military. They could have, just say further, they could have continued as they were, giving orders. Without a decree. Mrs. Bensuda, I believe your point is well taken, yes. really, on, on, on that. Mm. But I wanted you to answer whether or not, without you said without your assistance, they could have actually come up with these decrees. Is that what you're saying? I'm sure they, I'm sure they eventually would have. Um, without the assistance say, of the legislative... Let me, say, let, me say, let me just say, the impression that people have... These are a bunch of stupid, innocent people who did not know what was going on. It's not correct. They certainly did not they have... Done, sorry, they had done their homework, as I said, and they knew about decrees that military people rule by decree. Mrs. Bensuda, did they come up with a draft? which they presented to you, for example. They had so much knowledge on decrees. No, they did not come up with a draft. They asked us to provide a draft. And you did. Yes. Mm. Yes. 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 I believe so. The but fact I, we were the ones who asked us to draft it, and we did. And in tell Tijan, no matter how it will be fair to do it, I'm if a silo in the decree of the and I'm in tell the gent. And do not get a new one. I have a time of the little bit the fact of the matter is that this is not a hypothetical situation. You were the one on the ground, you were there, you were acting attorney general at the time. And therefore, you would have been the only one to do the job at that time. And you did it.
Yes. Uh-huh. And that is what I want you to take responsibility for. So, so I left a prayer yes or what I do not. What is there to take responsibility for? That you assisted them to draft the decrease. It was my role as um, the acting attorney general to receive their instructions. To intern instruct the parliamentary council. And I did. Very well, we'll take that answer and I'll leave it to the commission to, to decide. But I take responsibility for the decrease? That, that was not take my question. No, that was not my question. That was not my question. My question was that you were assisting them. Okay, thank my question you. was that you were assisting them. That is all I said. I did not say that you, you came up with the concept or the idea that has already been well established, but that you assisted them to draft it. You, you, could, have said, you could have said no. But it is a not have said no. Probably, but I, as far as I was concerned, what waited, what waited on me was the public interest, what mm. was in the interest of the public at me, that time. Could we contain the excesses of the military? Certainly decrees were needed. Not for the benefit of the military, military. But for the benefit of the people. And are you saying, Mrs. Benzuda, that these military decrees actually benefited the public and that they were in the interest of the public. Especially considering all the evidence that we have received that this was a tool by Yaya Jame to entrench himself in power in this country. The decrees that I drafted the decree that I drafted was for the was in the interests of the public. Now the public chose in 1997. Jama the Mulu, 19, chose in 1997. Yeah, tombo, 1997. Um, instead of repealing these decrees, uh, in decree ola nung, they were incorporated in the 1997 constitution. The greatest part of the violation of rights, the greatest part of the violation of rights which occurred in this country, occurred after the 1997 constitution came into effect. Those decrees are still in our statute books. That is the choice of the Gambian people, not the Solicitor General or Mrs. Bensuda. Amanka Gambia ding lula la forty de walla solicitor general walla Mrs. Bensuda. Amanka Mrs. Bensuda la forty. Gambia ding lula la forty la forty. Amanka ha you abant. Thank you very much, Mrs. Bensuda. <laughs> I appreciate your opinion on that. But let's just have a look, perhaps, at decree number one. <laughs> and um, perhaps um, you could comment on it briefly for Asikeno. us. Asikeno. 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 And I will just guide you whilst you do that. You agree that the decree had retrospective effect? In its operation. Um, the decree was given effect as, I think it was um, effective from 22nd July. 
That was the day on which they took over power. When was it passed, the decree? The decree was promulgated on the 29th. So it had retrospective effect. It had retroactive effect. Very well. When, what, what was the date you reported to the chairman after you came back? The same date, the 29th. Yes, the same date, the 29th. And therefore, this decree was passed on that same day. It was announced that evening. But the publication was actually done the following week. Bari wo lo kun kola lo kun embrata no malom ya safiring banke. So therefore it was actually um was it gazetted? For ya kibar leba. Yes it was gazetted but as you know I mean you can That was done the yeah. following week. Was it done the following week? Yes. I, I don't have the gazette publication so I cannot tell you the the, the gazette number and date. But it was gazetted the following week. Yeah, ke gazetto do lokum membulato no ma. Gazetto ni gazet ni ntembulu wala nante lumuning awato ni mfule ya kete nyame. And of course, it's um, apparent that these these decrees were churned out very quickly because in the space of 15 days, whilst you were acting Attorney General, six decrees had been promulgated. Ite la wa ma waroni waroni ngono jirong decree waro. Ugolo wele kete decree lumi alongo yao lenta mindi. Tariata. Yes, the, um, six decrees were promulgated whilst I was um, acting, was overseeing as Attorney General, yes. What uh, member Attorney General Makamo Tamandikang or decree or all of it? These decrees, unlike normal laws, would, would go through different processes and would take months, you know, sometimes to actually pass. In decree, any law or court order ruling, Jani Bezala ke sabat ne ke ke law alti. Wati Jamal Bejay kata ek dinkira Jamal lama follow one ke kari Jamal lada follow Jani Bezawa ten ke ke law alti. In the instance of decree number one, was passed within one day after you consulting with the chairman. Misal fe decree number follow one info. Oke da decree di me along ko lum follow me na ening kiaman darale ube omen sro lum kilo ni na yatan bindi ka ke law alti. Yes, that is the nature of military rule. You don't have to take it to anybody. They are the executive and they are the lawmakers at the same time. I will am sojaro lamara ro Kenya ti. Kato kundonga ya betel lebulu sembo betel lebulu. Isn't it true? Pare ta kume na ikata mani wale nyam. Isn't it true that even in in this particular decree number one, they were also the judiciary. Yeah, for nyam mange to nyam de. Hani nyam decree follow nyam fanam. Kiti bundal fanam beje le mule judiciary. No, no. If, if the, you look at no, the... No, the chapter on the judiciary was not suspended. Mrs. Bensura, if you look at the provision of the decrees taking precedence over the Constitution... Which was within the sole jurisdiction of the Supreme Court at the time, or the courts. The fact that court. even the courts could not question the validity of the decrees. In my view, gives them judicial power. Because the courts were no longer relevant. So they assume that role. Um, I don't agree. Decree number one, as drafted, did not oust the jurisdiction of the courts. Decree number one, as drafted, did not oust the jurisdiction of the courts. Did not suspend the courts. Not expressly, but by implication, it did. I don't also agree with that. Can you tell us why? If you're not able to resort to the court, if the court is not allowed to question the validity um, of the decree and cannot interfere in the operation of the decree, and the decree is supreme to the constitution, then I don't see what the role of the court there is.
I'm guided Adung, by my, my learned senior. Yo, Adung, eh, anataka kuti mea alonko. Kiti bunda ama usambu wa soto kakuta ama ndije. Adung, imangu kwa kundi noje. Uh, Wato sila ngoto, eh, kiti bunda lunafa eh, ilodulale. I, I think you are referring to section 5 of the of decree number 1. Yes, please. decree number 1, decree As well as the other provision that it goes to if you read it in context, it talks about the supremacy of the decree over everything else, the constitution and the courts. Many along the level are in Katahanfo Supreme Court from the South Pole. What what that means is that the courts do not have the jurisdiction to question whatever um, is done by decree. Well, I mean, the Kiti Bundalu, I tell you, among you, Lord Lasso, can you in Karoke decreeing? I call Menu Lundi, I will like call Menu Tamandi. But that does not affect the continued existence of the courts. Bari woman kokundi soto kitibunda la loaning ila tamo Kenya la nibe kering. Let me remind you that this provision. But ni hakilo blandi kuni insarto. In a different formulation. Ning abelanya donyama. Exists in the 1997 constitution. Abe kering nuko 1997 constitution okono. And uh, it's still binding on the courts. And uhanimbe atiketa kuti member lu larin na kitibunda lukang. So the courts continue to exist. And I did not um, say the courts did not exist. No, I, my, my point was that as far as this decree is concerned, the jurisdiction of the court was ousted. In so far as they cannot question, the validity of a decree, yes. Ah, ning ayata ra decree nyin na barako ete unyin karte kenola wala bai data kenola. I will move on. I will move on, Mrs. Bensud, unless you have something else to say. I'll move no. on to the next point. Be continue la for na ayata ra fendo be bulumia elafta kamimfo. And it also, this particular decree actually suspended um, a part of the constitution which was Schedule 1 of the 1970 constitution. Well, I need decree in a catafene de mia lonco, no banco lua bugoni acatam, banco catama lua bugolmen, for Sato Dolby mia lonco, in decree or landele montera tama can cotton. Sorry, schedule one? I believe so. Schedule one, well, I'm Bunda followed. No, the, the provisions that are suspended are in schedule one of decree number one. Amunta bunda lumeni alonko yedem wolebe sarto ni na bunda folo ni nela. Yes, so um, it's suspended. It's chapter four of chapter the constitution. Chapter four, yes. Chapter four yes. relates to the president and his cabinet. Sapa na ninja ubetilindi president na la cabinet la wola la la mara kafunyolo. And therefore, the council was now sitting in that place. The chairman and the council were sitting chairman. in the place of the president and the. Cabinet. Yes, they became the executive. And I'm aware that although there was not a wholesale suspension of the constitution, but this definitely paved the way for that happening later in Decree 30, I believe. Imana belon, but kabu watum na yeni dikri londi kafu mi dikri tati wole silo di fo wakatano. Sorry, I don't understand the question. Pave the way for suspension of the entire constitution. Me silo walang purka constitution obede. In decree number one, a part of the constitution had been suspended. Decree number one. And later on, in decree, and later on in decree 30, the entire constitution was suspended, including the fundamental rights um, sections. And we found another job. Decree 30, we have started to bundling, tensioning. We have a job. We have not had to go. 
commission banko nyenda tamala loi loi bugo mena yo be londele fa da fo bla taje fo hanama dingo la nyanto fo yo fo bondi jele i understand that you were not um, in your position at that point when decree 30 was passed nga fa hamle ko wato mi yalon ko nyin decree 30 e ba londi kan no waya tarete man taran nje but i'm saying the decree number 1 which you which you were involved with set the pace but mba fula ko yaaje wo decree number 1 mi yalon ka e taraje wala fu ngay silo wala fo nyin decree 30 lotano no, I don't agree. Um, decree number one did not, um, as you put it, um, set the pace. No, did it pave the way? Man, no, did it pave the way? No, did it pave the No, did it pave the way? 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 Wolem sarto lu men yalon ko eti lajero to man kuma ya kolu lanya fe ya wolle den there was no president or cabinet president kere no to mo sako cabinet so the chapter on president and cabinet were suspended bitu ngot mo wo bunda me marta wala president on cabinet wo tumo yolu den most of the, most of the provisions which follow Will call me to final nata bula will know ma. Consequential on those main two main factors. Amunta will final ubel dendi ngo kukum ma fulol lela. There was no parliament. Parliament take care in debate bun take care. The chapter on parliament was suspended. That to come me dendi in debate bun la yo final dendi ngo tumo. So that is what decree number one did. Decree number one la kumu waleti. Now decree thirty which came into force on the twenty nine March. Decree sabanja ngo men nata March karoko no. 1995. Menketa 1995 sangokono. Um, actually suspended the fundamental um, human rights provisions of the constitution. Walenata sarto luden menketa hadamaya nyanto la kunyalti. By then there was a team that was advising, a legal team advising the um, forces provisional ruling council directly. Wotumo lua kafuso tontale menube nyi sojar kafo ya marikang menube lori ngo palaso to wotumo. These were not Gambians. Ulumanke Gambian koluti. And I believe their advice was that there was no place for a human rights chapter and in, a, in a military government. Nga mire iti laya maro keta nyineti ko. Hada maya nyanta lodula manyan sotola sojar bunda la mararoko. I believe that even before decree number 30 was promulgated, in decree number one, there was no place for human rights Lata. anyway. Lata lako, jamning degree 30 from Obina, degree number one, where it and draw Kaloko, Hanama Dunga Lenyan to a woman, Dinkrasso to a Watu in Bangoka. By the fact that not only was the jurisdiction of the courts, which mm. were established to protect fundamental human rights, and out there. And the Wobe come from a Terakiti Bundaba Loring, Mia Longo, Wellenyan Takatankandro, Hanama Dunga Lenyan Tola. But also because the decree was supreme as well to the constitution. And definitely we know the spirits um, in which the APRC junta came and the various human rights violations that were committed as you alluded to. And So the spirit of decree number one was against protection of fundamental human rights. And Decree number one did not suspend fundamental human rights. Decree following number one, among Hadamaya Nyanta Tonyalu, among Hadamaya Nyanta Bundalu, Amedende. So in a, it enabled us at the Ministry of Justice consistently push for the military, the, the military junta. In Makwele Puruka, Sojar Bunda Nyori, Puruya, Hadamaya Nyanta Lubunya. Thank you very much. Perhaps we can move on and I will allow the commission to decide on that point. We've looked at decree number one. Mm -hmm. Can you just guide us through the rest of the decrees that you you assisted the junta to, to pass? Decree number one. 
dikril mi alon ko hedde dabla to wala ko mi alon ko wo junta man sa kunna yi wala de dan and to to buttress um, my answer in respect of the non suspension of decree um, the fundamental human rights chapter of the 1970 constitution anin kan kuma kan bambandi ka foko decree number 1 among hadamaya nyanto la kunya lu den ka ben 1970 constitution o kono nyami the monday following um my return that is the the, uh, the the 29th was on a friday on the monday karotil mo anin kono to bente jumole febril nata bitum tenemo men bula taw noma a state council rushed to my office kitindir la sodonta menyak moto futa tan na office state council state council sodonta menya menya moto futa tan na office lawyer lawyer man salam lawyer mo mi ala ko and said that uh, managing directors had been arrested akoya managing director lu mutale and we are my sort of being paraded on a truck koye bulandi moto bale kono be yitandi kankata in banjul banjul sate kono so i rushed to state house nya moto tata state house because when i met the chairman katu birini chairman e nyoje even though he was talking about setting up commissions of inquiry this is one of the things he said in his discussion with me hana nyim foko to mo be ko be commission lu londira men be kala kisi kisi commission ti bari dia mo ko no hana nyim foko he had specifically said there would not be a witch hunt bari nga nyim fole ko ite bula no mo kala ka bula mo lu no mo nya ke ide mako e ka bualu de ma nyami i was ushered in to see him bari bri en dundi pour kata na nyoje and i protested the arrest of the managing directors bitungal na balanda itandi ala jele managing director la muto kan I, I told him that this was contrary to his assurances that um, there would not, not be a witch hunt. Nanyim fay woto nyin ni la kuma kan lu fatata le ka foko e ite bula no kan ko la molu la and particularly their humiliation by being put on a truck just on based on mere allegations of corruption. So ko ka fa ka ke ta ke bula ndi moto ko no be ya indi la wonya kene bato e ka foko ye tu minyin la ko ye na karole ke So um he called in uh, Lieutenant Sanasabali. Utumola uh, Lieutenant Sanasabali kumandi. And Sanasabali said uh, that these people were corrupt and were criminals. Utumola uh, Sanasabali ko nyimulu mu nakar la le ti adum mo kurumul le muiti. That they had been taken to my two. Ko ye samba mail tule. I stood my ground. Na lo dula ngo bamba ndi lo tan noto. And uh, reiterated uh, and remonstrated with them. Nganna nganna nga ko ni saate ye adun lo taw dia mu kilimu kan ni e dia mo menke nga fo they could not put people in mile 2 without trial ko ete molu sorono la mile 2 ima menu kitindi finally they agreed that the managing directors would be released bandula to na ta son ko be managing director lu nyil bulalale and um, he promised to call me and confirm when they were released and ay nyil la hido ta ka be ko mandirale ka bambandi mako ye nyil bulalale and that evening he phoned to say that he had given instructions for them to be released and wolu wura ro ay ko mandiro ke ka fonyen ko ay kango di le pour ya foko ye molu bula i could i could not have done that if there were no fundam, there was no fundamental rights provision in the constitution or if fundamental rights had been suspended adun te o keno la nun nin ayatara ko ye hada maya nyantolu be denne wala ye e dabondi kolu kono e mantara kerin kota ke tombi wol kolu te ke nola as far as i was concerned ntele kundi ngola karola and more importantly as far as decree number 1 was concerned alun ka kolla kuma ya jube decree number 1 fam fanan na karola fundamental human rights chapter in the constitution was operative eh hada maya nyanto sabatin dolu nen abaru malu banko kan otumode ibe lorin and we um, that was why consistently we emphasized that human rights had to be respected wala non continente ka nyim bambandi ko hada maya nyanto lu e nyante buñala le ke londi ke bambandi if i can just make a comment there mrs bensuda entrance ko makalla no woka mrs bensuda the operation of human rights and fundamental um, rights was not coming hadama dungol la nyanto e nyanta ka lo ala nyami it wasn't protected through the provisions in the decree Ima, or the constitution ima kanta coming afoto nyami ngila wo decree lo al nyonko this was a special effort you made ni mukula de mialanko yekato kenu 
to free these individuals. And that is why they were freed. And the that is not how um, fundamental human rights operate. They should operate freely um, um, by, by law or by the Constitution. And as far as I'm concerned, the decree... Decree number one. Decree number one. Superseded all of those uh, provisions of the Constitution. And just to preempt you before we get to decree number three. If you remember the case of Chongan and others. They were acquitted and discharged by a magistrate. They were basically listed in the, in the list that was attached to decree number three. And they were security detainees. And they were security detainees. And they were security detainees. And they And they were Despite the fact that they were acquitted and discharged. The overriding power of decree number three applied in that instance. So therefore, like we said, even though the courts were functioning, at well as well as the rights under the 1970 constitution. However, However, the decree superseded them. But how do we decree the not a symbol of the law? Was that a very long question again? <laughs> well, I, I did, it was a statement. I was going to. I'm going to ask that you agree or disagree with the statement. Then, in that case, I'm putting it to you. It's, di it's difficult. So now, if we just so now, because we need to carry the meal and come back, keep it all. Police are broke. Ha, wala ha. Let me shorten my question so that I can get a direct answer from you. But when I need to carry the meal, the sergeant said, "Jabiru, shooting, shooting, he blew." Do you rem do you remember the case of Chonga and others? We have killed back and Chonga na monyol meal and blota kiti diamokono. Not the details. What is the date of the case? I do not have the date of the case, but um, this was sometime, I believe, in 1995, if I'm not mistaken. I'm sure you're aware of Chong and others being arrested as security detainees immediately following the military coup. Were you aware of instances where security detainees were discharged for or acquitted by court, but they could, that could not happen because of decree number three, which you drafted. For a kilo back and a co, more me along a cot and co bunda mole mit, yes, and back it in the roller kit you on a table, but wobbler rolling a manna symbol sort of no card with decree le bije me along go, Mansacon, a woman secondam be carrying ye, 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 fan sujini wood decree low and wood decree, it a moti me along it from Leasafe. Um, which provision are we really talking about in decree number three? We're just looking at the generality, the generality of uh, decree number three. If you look at it, it states that um, the supreme uh, power resided in the council to detain Members of the security forces. And that because the decree overrided the constitution as well as the courts. Just like in decree number one, the hands of the courts were tied. If you look at um, 2 1, it states that 
the, I'm looking at decree number three. Two one of which of the decrees? Decree number three. Decree, decree number, three. number three. Yeah, that is state security detention Two of one, armed yes. and police personnel. Well, and Kamol Mutami along Kwebu Dukola Tanko Bundato. Yes, it says that um, where the vice chairman of the armed forces provisional ruling council is satisfied that the arrest and detention of a member of the force is in the interest of the security of the Gambia, he may make a detention order in the form prescribed. Mm -hmm. And that is the general order to, to make detentions, to order for detentions. Akamungo wale nyindiko, mimbe sefere wato, wale nyindiko. Tanko bunda mul. Chairman Safo Noleko, Wale Lawo Junta Chairman, Wale Nyaton Koning, as a phone Noleko, Nim Motanko Bunda Mo, and say Mutanole Nataraco, Chairman Ajeloko, Elo Mutaroni, a Jetra La Pre Muta, as in Akamo de Que Muta. It also states in subsection two that, in fact, the Vice Chairman may direct the place that the person is going to be detained. And for now, such a do for Natato, Balamia, be choking over Balamia, it and Roke, or Mia Lonko, Wale Sin no be Chairman or Nom. We say I'm a road dino. Like come in, you mold, you mold me ye muta wale tanko bunda mold mold. It's a phone or a dinkral to me along ko yenda ke mabo wale to. It goes on further in subsection three to state that the conditions of detention are also determined by the vice chairman, including even as to confinement, maintenance, discipline, and punishment for breaches of discipline. I continue to find kafu find come in dinkral to me along ko yenda ke mabo damento. We be sembo tata. Uh, chairman no malankole bul for min tate la kulu la karole la taranya la karole nyanta min laleka and we all know that even in the case of chongan and and be alone ne min kete chongan la karola and mama cham and others and in mama cham na munyol during the period of their detention watu mi alankoy be muto ko nonu on the 6th day of september 1994 wala ka september karo tiro roti 1994 members of the junta mol mi alanko wala dabe nyin junta ka foko Except the chairman himself went for, into mile two. For chairman or the male man taranunje, tata do mile two. Subjected them to brutal torture. Ke muta ke tajiriya. As well as a mock execution. And do funa ke mol muta ke fawo dinkira fongo. And who knows if um, that may not be a lawful interpretation of maintaining discipline and punishment, and and all of that. And you are about for a nogo ko muniyale timi alonko isafo no la ko komi betilungo aning kafo ko kakulu ola molka nyenem silo timi alonko wale nyanta kata. But I assume that would be under the exclusive purview of the vice chairperson to the vice chairman to to interpret. But I ngalo nko wobe to the chairman oni ne bulu wala vice chairman oni komi abu ko tala nyandu la kafo ko kafiring. But Mrs. Bensuda, this is the the decree that you drafted and you gave extensive powers Mrs. Benzula, to you, members of the council. In decree Luani, Fenne Mialongo, it a formula added and it a formula not a Murunko, the yes symbol D. Nimola. Decree, um, sorry, you expect me to respond, I suppose. Of course, I agree. You never ever decree in the Bruna Jabiro Kakur. The military officers, Chongan and others, were already in detention when this decree was was um, promulgated on so the 4th of, um, 4th of August 1994. Let me just interject there, Mrs. Ben yes. Suda. Sorry, I don't want to lose this point. We have, we've already discussed that the decrees had retrospective effects. Now, Kajaja Nago, coming in degree me and Uncle Yelondi, Natana Koleaku. And I'm putting it to you that the reason why they had retrospective effects and or retroactive effects is because the council wanted to give some sort of legitimacy or force of law to their actions in case somebody decided to challenge it. Yeah, you okay, the little minka ma wala nyindiko. Isaje to council mall fon. Isaje ko ye kuo kuke. Ye tilimbali ya ko wala ye kuo kuke. Andong ya ko milla natara wo maril pareta pour que samba kiti de la. E be minka la dore be fan suje la ni la nyin decree lo alela. Because even though the decree was not passed when that action took place, but then the law gave it validity. But hanu wo be kanko. Aya tara fon kabri bo wo kuo nyin ke kan. Aya tara nyin decree nyin amanlo. But hanu say natana sembonti ya ni lo ala. Because of its retroactive nature. Katu ko mine wati na katu ya murundi ko mala ko min kuol min beketa no. Learned counsel, with respect, no law can give validity 
to torture. Luata keri meye nyi ntonya ya ndika mumu taka atajiri ya. These military officers, as you mentioned, were already in detention. We have instructions to draft decree number four. At least for the future, just taking the sections that you quoted one after the other. But what, what decree number two one made possible at least for those who were not in detention? that they could not be detained without a detention order. Decree number uh, four or, or section two, subsection two and three. Did not empower anyone to torture persons in detention. To the extent that the fundamental human rights provisions were still in force. The decree assumes that all detention would comply with the fundamental human rights provisions. So to to say that um, because the decree was given retroactive effect, that probably, probably legitimized torture that was going on. Respect is not correct. <laughs> what I was saying that it legitimized the actions of the government. Especially I when it came came to 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 it certainly legitimized unlawful detention as we know it in the constitution because the procedure in which they detain people and the evidence is quite clear here the TRRC was definitely not in consonance with the provisions of the constitution and don't for now because bunda means it will mean that a woman in muta near gb come on me before the TRRC jam when in bangola lua buku ba mantanyola and that in my view paved the way for other human rights violations such as torture and do you want to tell me a lot of another money will you want to go because you know the union to tina dole me along with all the time all the crease cannot legitimize the actions of the armed forces provisional ruling council it cannot legitimize torture it cannot legitimize detention what legitimize sorry the and the Armed Forces Provisional Ruling Council knew that the only legitimacy they can get for their action during the transition period is was the to have an indemnity in the constitution of the Republic of the Gambia. Wolem kabunda alone the Gambia la constitution o kono me ya alonko wole be kantaro kela molu la me ni alonko ni o kolu ke satara kute kelela. That is why they went to the, the they went to the extent of ensuring that we had the second schedule to the constitution, indemnifying their actions during this period. And let me also remind you that legitimization must have an, ob um, an objective yardstick. The, a decree which is made by the military cannot legitimize what the military does. It's the, dec it's the decree is made by them. They cannot legitimate their own actions.
So legitimization connotes that some other process is used to give validity to something a person does. So, so it respect council legitimization in relation to decrease is a misnomer it is the Gambian people in the constitution 1997 constitution which supposedly went to a referendum that legitimized the actions of the AFPRC bring Gambian referendum Hanifo wosar tolu menu dunta 1997 constitution o kono. Wale olu sembe ntu ya ke londi puru ke ke kuti men sitama. And from 1997. Bitu nkabona 1997. Lungulu. Those provisions in, in the constitution legitimizing and granting indemnity to the AFPRC remain in our laws. Wale ya sabu. Lusarto lumbeni ye itelikanta ke 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 tankandi e tilindi roma. Wale tutala constitution okono, wale ya kendi, itelao kuketalu, kumana boje mensi ketulu la kafo ya njineke. That is why Yankubature was able to raise it. Wala na Yankubature ya kangobulindi, kawoku makangulufo. And if you look at the judgments of our courts consistently from 1997, they have excluded themselves from having the jurisdiction to determine the legitimacy of decrees. Kirunia Jube, Kabo 1997, Kitty Tel Kang. Lako, Abu So uh, I think it is wrong. To try to infuse decrees with an authority that they don't have. As lawyers, we know this about law. Law is merely a command that can be enforced by sanction. Where the decreased law during the um, transition period to the extent that they reflect commands which had sanctions, which had consequences if you don't abide by them, those that were directed at people. Maybe you can continue. But to the extent that the Gambian people did not have the cons did, uh, the military did not have the consent of the Gambian people to make the decrees. But kafuko gam soldier or imagine council of Gambian people will kafuko our decree will do that. Then they were not laws. And what do we make a law? That's a philosophical debate. I was about to say that, Mrs. Yes, Bensula, um, looking at the practical realities on the ground, as far as the Gambian public was concerned, the decree certainly had the force of law. As far as the military junta as well was concerned, they ruled by it and used it as, an, as, as law operated in the normal setting. And by these decrees, remember, Ms. Bensuda, you drafted them, they were equipped with, ex with legislative, executive, as well as judicial powers. And these decrees actually validated their own unconstitutional actions. And and in your position, you help them to achieve it. Well, uh, the premise of your question, if the question is whether I help them, that premise, of course, is, uh, is wrong, and I don't agree with it.
Ila holding kira kafu njini nkaro kono kafu kufa afudu ntele ye imako yu ukulu tama ndola. Natara wole mude woto manso ngoto la mba afulako woto dal amanke kuri nte nyako to mentally nita. And I respect your answer, Ms. Bensuda, and I will allow the, con the commissioners to draw conclusions. and the commissioner The decrees did not validate anything done by the council. They did not need validation. The decrees the decrees provide that a framework for them to operate in which they operate. It was created by them. It was enforced by them. It was amended by them when they saw fit. In fact, even where the decree said they could not do something, it did not prevent them from doing it because they had the power to do it. Then so one, 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 one might ask, Mrs. Vensuda, then what's the point? What's the point of the, the decrees if at the end of the day they would have done what they were going to do without it, that they were ruling anyway without the power of the decree? Then, then what was the point? What was the point for all of the framework and guidelines that you presented in the decree in that case? Because they were not bound to follow it anyway. What is saying, Ms. Bensuda, more than you in Karaoke, but in saying you more let me and go decreeing, Hanatara Lota, what a bala, it will left a cook who can a bacala, fat tan insular, farm and tan insular. In my view, what a new OGB, Mundali Lebij broke any decree for all. In my view, I mean, you might as well not have dirtied your hands by touching them. Just let them do what they're going to do. Until a mirror lot, a man and a dark and a nunge for a blue non did, and you enter silver, a year fell, it will be mink a year walk at drunk. I do not consider my hands to be dirty. I do not certainly consider my hands to be tainted. But it's a fair question to ask then, what is the point? I suppose it's convenient 25 years down the line to be asking those questions. Where are we all to abandon the country and leave it to Yajame and his cohorts? Should I have resigned as Solicitor General? Should I even have stayed in America? These are all hypothetical questions, 25 years down the line. That time, Kotembo. with having worked in the ministry for five years, Sorry, for 14 years, 14 years at that time, having been Solicitor General for five years. And knowing that the situation we found ourselves in was not unique to Gambia. And taking a point of reference from how um, other countries, Nigeria, Ghana, Liberia, Sierra Leone, how all of them have dealt with the situation. I took the decision to come back and Solicitor General continue to work in the public interest as is my oath. Solicitor General continue to work in the public interest as is my oath. So, in your view, you were some sort of savior, Mrs. Bensuda. That's the picture I have in my mind when you describe the situation where if you had not actually intervened, this country would have gone down the line of chaos and anarchy. But for your intervention, 
komi ndala miralo to ngaje nyami wala nyitiko komi natara no ita manne dabula nyunko ko nonu deno nyim banko be kala banko leti miyalan ko kairo nin tenko ngote tarano nin banko kan wo wato ko sebio i wish i was no ka fo kana ndir la a ngam asidiya nyunu ngake oti hani manke oti i really wish that um, the military the uh, military who 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 had the responsibility to secure the safety of this country I was not savior. How However, the country was in anarchy. And what is anarchy? It was in a state of lawlessness. Where soldiers can knock on your door and throw you in prison. Other countries put in a coherent framework so that the military could interface with the public. And that's what that's all decrees are supposed to do. Create a framework so that people will know what to expect from the military. And hopefully, hopefully, the military will also understand the limits of their own um, actions. Afoko sojaro lu fanalu isinyi londo soto awala isa hakilo soto iteli nyanta dana dami manyan tambila dami. But let us not fool ourselves. The soldiers were in control and could do whatever they wanted. Baringa namfande nede sojaro lebe maralin kuola adu kokundu ndiyate heka tamandi wale nyama. The decrees did not enable do anything. Mrs. Vensura, it's very clear that the situation you explain about regulating and stabilizing the situation, I mean, it definitely did not happen. I, perhaps that was your aim and that was your objective, but it definitely did not happen. And you have also confirmed that because they did what they wanted. Do you Ms. have Bensura. any regrets? Ms. Benzuda, I want to Regret about what? Regrets about drafting the decrees. No, whatsoever, none. Okay, thank a, you. a framework was needed. Even though it wasn't followed. And it was disregarded, as you and said yourself. Not everything. I, I did not say all the decrees were disregarded. You said the soldiers did what they wanted to do from the beginning, even before the decrees were passed. Yes. So therefore, what was the point? Sir, let me repeat. The point was to create a framework within which they could operate, whether they followed it or not. That was the framework. So even if it served merely decorative purposes, it should just be there as a guideline, even though no one was guided by it. I, I think it's a wrong opinion to say that they serve decorative purposes. Um, just to give an example, decree number one enabled them to, although they had made a declaration about um, the cabinet, Decree number one gave them the structure within which the cabinet members could be appointed and could sit to address the myriad of issues that had nothing that the country needed to be addressed that had nothing to do with um, uh, the, the military. 
dikrio folo nyin wala ye silo yitandila inyanta kolu tamandila nyami inyanta kolu londila nyami me ya lonko ete la mara roko no be kolu tamandila wala nyama dikri folo nyi yo bundale yele itelie pour yi salon be kolu sambala nyami the decree also enabled the government to know that it will continue to function under the laws that were in place wo dikri fana ne nyi yitandila ko ibe tamano lale luwa lu koto men ya lonko wolle be loring e nyaatili nyaal in other words the crane number 1 enable the public to know what the situation was decree, and enable life to go on the cri folo ni na fanan nata jama ma koy pour ya long mune be caring anim fanam pour molu la signa ni balu nya si tenten in other words the cri number 1 was the mou memorandum of understanding between the people and the military if i may put it that way nin sa fono nya ma decree folo ni wala mu nyo fa hamu kamati jama molu ni sojaro lu tema o tembo just like a constitution is the memorandum of understanding between the people the governed and the governors o constitution o mu nyo fa hamu kamati nyaming jama molu ini man sakunda ni maral bunda lu tema so so we should not infuse it with some other you know some other attributes that uh, yeah that mrs bensura just yes. to conclude really Thank certainly you. it is clear even from your own testimony that the junta never had the consent of the public to do what they were doing so i don't see how you could call that an mou between the people and the junta you said their government was illegitimate and you know we've gone through all of that um so i don't see how that could be an mou Ms. Bensuda, come here for your funyan. Into my come here for now. Me for come here. Banko lo boa boa loa loa ning buko ba ning. Warning, more tema come here. Iko omo feneti mi anke kafa memorandum of understanding. Wole nyomo yole be caring e damal tem. Oman ke feneti mi alon kaketa wole nyam bunya be kamala. But in order to it's a it's a it's a good point. Bunda ni malam je. That you make. Thank you for acknowledging yes, that. The memorandum of understanding did not require the consent of the people. That is true. But not that it did not require. It, it did not have the, the, the consent. The people never consented to this. Never did. I think we are saying the same thing. I'm not too sure, Mrs. Bensoud. I doubt if we are saying the same thing. I'm saying something very different. It did not require the people's consent. Because it, it was ruled, they were ruling by the barrel of a gun. And the people never consented to that. They are, sorry. Sorry. I mean, one can debate all these issues, mostly philosophical. But let me make it absolutely clear. And I would like to underscore it. I take no responsibility for the actions of the military. And for those of us who try to stabilize the, 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 the situation, I think we, in fact, are entitled to commendation. I feel neither tainted by what happened or the role I played. And whatever I did was entirely consistent with my duty to the country and my duty as Solicitor General. Attorney General. solo ni sarto lutata nyola le. Ani mfana mpalaso membe mbulu utumo Attorney General Makamo. Ani ufana na sarto ni ntarambulu lutata nyola le. And I understand your point about not taking responsibility for the actions of the AFPRC. I understand your point about not taking responsibility for the actions of the AFPRC. I understand your point about not taking responsibility for the actions of the AFPRC. I understand your point about not taking responsibility for the actions of the AFPRC. But let me just finish my point, Mr. Ben Suda, so that I don't lose, I don't lose my thread of thought, please. Let me just finish, please, with all due respect. I'm at the listening end, so I'll give you priority, yes. Thank you very much. I really appreciate that. Despite the fact that uh, you're saying that the, the AFPRC um, 
Expo Kanko APRC did not actually um I have lost I've actually suc you've succeeded in helping me to lose I'm, my I'm, trend I'm, of I'm, thought I'm, which I'm, glad you, <laughs> I'm sure that was your I'm, I'm your glad goal. you know no, yeah, not really. I'm glad you, you, you understand my difficulty when you make these long statements and expect me to answer okay go ahead and answer and then by that time I, I just wanted to add and I take no responsibility for the decrees I take no responsibility. Well. You have now reminded me of yes. my question. Yes, I thought you were going to, in fact, yes, in that. That, yes. yes. In, in terms of coming up with the concept and the idea, um, the blueprint for the decrease, I understand that. But do you not take any personal responsibility for assisting in their drafting? Coming up with an why, actual why decree I? and placing it on the table of the junta. I, I, I don't understand why I should. They had no know-how. They had no skill to draft decrees. I doubt if they could have made an effective review of those decrees at that point. They just took whatever you said, Co as far as I'm concerned. I don't know if you have any decrees. 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 But I don't know if you have the suspension of the um, constitution, suspension of the courts, and all of that. But it was reiterated in the decrees. But why was there a need to do so? If their actions had force of law anyway. That's what I'm trying to understand and reconcile with. And I think that the general public as well really would like to understand that. You know, as you said, sometimes there, there can be a philosophical debate as to what is law and what is not. But in practical terms, what was operating in this country? What, is, what was operating in this country before the decree was nothing. nothing was operating. When, when I came back, nothing was operating. For the one week, the military were doing exactly what they wanted. And people did not know. And people did not know the framework within which what was going on, the framework within which this military were operating. I, I call that anarchy. So I, I don't, maybe I don't understand. The your framework question. really had nothing to do with, with, with what they were doing, because they continue to do what they were doing anyway. The framework did nothing to limit them or restrict their actions. They, they continue to unlawfully detain people. They continue to torture people. Even after passing of the decree. So what was the framework? All about. Say what the time you must remember also, I mean, I, I agree that they continue to do what they wanted. So the decree, decree or no decree, they would do what they wanted. Right? You must recollect that the vast majority of the decrees that were passed during this period. Had nothing to do with the um, arrest or detention. These were just regular decrees that were that would have been passed in the National Assembly for the good functioning of government. But for now, and but for now and for so, the purposes so of no, the TRRC, no, no, it's Mrs. Very, it's very important to put TRRC cannot be um, uh, um, the issues of the decree in the TRRC cannot be handled in isolation. There wasn't a set of decree that had a life of its own that violated the rights of the people, and another sort of set of decrees that that were that were you know applicable in terms of the functioning of government, and so on. The decrees were decrees. So um, yes, when it came to the decrees that affected you know the liberty of the subject, um, the sanctity of the human being, 
Um, this is what the TRRC is looking at, but it should not be looked at in isolation. So I'm, I'm quite concerned that the decrees are being give, infused with some sort of, I don't know, attribute that don't exist. Decrees were just rules that were put in place. Decree now, when it came to... Decree was not the only thing. TRRC, you were Roman, you were Roman, you were decree, you were Roman, 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 you were because I, of our I, mandate, agree, sorry, Mrs. Benzula, because of our mandate to investigate my, my human yes. rights violations. I agree that there are a set of decrees. I agree that there are a set of decrees um, that, of course, are crucial to your mandate. We must focus Decree, on those. Yes, Decree, Decree number one, one is not one of them. Decree no follow him, Mantara will look on it. I disagree. Mansour. Decree number one, yes, of course. The decree number one merely set the basis for government by the military. Decree follow me, Kulu Lanya Le Itandi, Soja Rulula, Inyanta Ilamansa Kundata Mandela. What about decree number three? Do you agree and that there was room for the junta to violate human rights and unlawful detention? Decree number for three, you know, for Amira Wesilo di Junta La Priya Hadamadunga Lanyanto Tinyama. No, in terms of Silodi, as he put it, it did not... I don't understand Mandinka. <laughs> mm. well, uh, it paved the way. Only when the car is Silodi, it paved the way. You are agreeing that it paved the way? It or you are not, not agreeing? No. And in months on Kai Silodi... They were already violating human rights. What, what the decree did was to set down a procedure which should be followed if people are to be detained there must be a detention order yes it could it did not take away the right of the vice chairman his discussion which he refused for it to be taken away it did not take away his his powers to deal with the detainees in terms of where they should be remanded and so on but it it put in the minimum that i think uh, we we should be. I and Chairman worked on these things. Decree or the decree follow the law. Men, what am I saying? Because the law in Tarambulo Lundi, Ming Italo Santa Nung Purkatama Menula, many alonko wellebe kela kukendolti. What is the matter? What are you referring to? Then Chairman, then Tanga was silo leduku. Ebe chor alonko wellebe kela Tarambulo. Ebe chor na juma le, ka chor na juma le fatu. Oh, Mr. Chairman, Jalo QC. He's now this, a Supreme Court judge. Supreme Court, We were, we grew up in a democratic as lawyers. We, 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 worked, we grew up in a democratic context, in a context where fundamental human rights were supreme. We Suspended the constitution. Come in at a silo me it and you come in Gambia Banco and democracy. Katamanya and Hanama Dungalanya to Hanu will be it in a day double and you decree economy and co you will let the data. I will step the jurisdiction of the courts and give legislative powers to the Kakiti Bundal Deng, Kasembo di Mola Mia Lanco will live in Maralu and in Wawatokon. That is not in consonance with democratic principles as we know. Woman Kafendi Mialanko is a Kuna Dinola Ninkola Mialanko democracy in Yantakatam Olenyam. So, in my view, I would not have touched those decrees. Intelamiro to no Nintelam Tembulo Mala would decree Lualan. But your opinion is that. But Ila Ila Kilimu. Although you don't want to say the word savior, but you did come to save us. I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm glad you are not me. Indeed. <laughs> Indeed. We acted responsibly. 
Mrs. Bentwood, I think we'll agree to disagree at this yeah. point, yeah, and um, we'll yeah. close for the lunch. I'll just oh, refer you to the chair, chairman before we do so. We will break for the lunch, not close. We'll come back after lunch. Thank you. Thank you, Madam Chairman. 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 Thank you, Madam Chairman
Ikaw. Marcel mo nila magandang. Ahang kayo. Wow, wow. Of the Gambia, million kota mo di defalerek. Muna niyo yung chin number yi. Pude Gambia sila. Call niyo si three six nine nine one three seven. Pude yung United States tag. Call niyo si three four seven seven three one zero zero seven one. Kung nalang niyo next contract with DHL, mungafam niyo on balik. Phone niyo kasi adi direct. Bonyo niyo ring ring.